Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. I'm Doombreaker and I'm going to show you today how to do cross-threading. So uh, this is the sequel to multi-threading. If you didn't see my multi-threading video, uh, please check it out first before doing this. Um, I'm going to put an annotation to it somewhere on the screen now, so just click that. And it will take you to the multi-threading video. If you have seen the multi-threading video and you are linked here, welcome. So what we are going to do is this. We are going to check if there is an internet connection and then let the user know that there is or there isn't an internet connection. So and this is all going to happen in the form load section. Let's see what happens if we don't use multi-threading. As you can see, it's going to lag horribly and it's going to load very, very slow. And now it says the internet connection is detected and then it loads the form, which takes a lot of time and we don't want that. So that's where multi-threading comes in. Uh, instead of using a, a message box here, I just use the label and let's see what this does. So I still can move it and it says internet connection detected. So there was no lag whatsoever and uh, it did what we wanted. So uh, let's see here how I did it. So just import the system.threading like we did in multi-threading, make new thread, then start the thread here with the address of check connection. Check connection is this sub and just start it. Uh, don't mind this, this is um, explained later why, why uh, this is here. So um, here we go, we just say if the internet connection is false and internet connection is a, a function, the function is right here. So the private function has boolean and is going to return false or true. But don't mind that. I'm going to explain this in another tutorial how to do this. But uh, we are fixed, focused on uh, cross threading here. So we just check it and then we are going to say internet is false or internet is true. So uh, that's all it's going to do. Check it and then say uh, the boolean, which is declared here, is going to do true or false so yeah then we do access label and this is where the cross threading comes in so if we didn't have this and we just say label one dot text is equal to fa la 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 and we press debug It should do nothing or it should check and then just close everything because of a glitch. See? Invalid operation exception was unhandled. So what this means is um, we are accessing a, um, a label here on the main thread in another thread. So the form display as one thread and then we made a new thread which is going to do all this and then we are just going to say label one.txt is equal to falala but that's not how it works because you are saying that you need to change the label in another thread and while the label itself is in another thread you can just access that so that's why we are going to do cross threading so um I could also have done this and put it here but that's where the variable comes in because variables are cross thread um, at least if you do public I don't know private or uh, dim if that makes any difference but I always use public it works as a charm so in the multi-thread we are going to say that it needs to 
do whatever is in access label and access label is another sub and here it's going to say if me.invoke required then me.invoke new method invoker address of access label and this is going to be the uh, sub in which this code is so which is access label here and else it's going to do the code that didn't work in the multi-thread so it's going to check if the um, boolean is false if it's false then there is no internet connection detected else it's going to say that there is an internet connection detected um, but beware don't put this code in here because all code that's in here is going to run on the main thread and if we put this code which caused the lag in here it's just going to lag as much as it did before and it's just going to start a new thread and don't do anything and that's not what we want so um, this is how you do cross threading and debug it once more as you can see you can move it around still checking still checking and there is an internet connection detected so uh, that's how you do cross threading uh, next tutorial will be on how to use a timer in multi threading because that's uh, something else so you can just say uh, thread me dot address of um, I mean address of me dot timer one underscore tick for example that's just not how it works so I'm going to cover that in the next tutorial uh, until then stay tuned if you like the video please like it if you like my content please subscribe it helps my channel it helps the videos it helps other people find my videos uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye